Hello guys from YouTube. Today I want to show you a very nice product I bought on eBay. Uh, this is called the Sonoff Basic. It is a Wi-Fi switch, which means you can turn on and off devices from anywhere in the world. And the cool thing it is that it's very cheap. It's actually nowadays less than five dollars on eBay and free shipping and so on. Um, that is something I was uh, hoping to find in the market for over 10 years now. Actually, back then you could actually find it, but the prices were really high, over $25, $30. Uh, but finally, it's on the market for less than $5, which is very nice. Uh, it has many nice features in it. Um, you can, first of all, you can access anywhere in the world, of course, but you can also share control, which means friends and neighbors can have access if you allow them to um, turn on and off devices, such as a, a, a magnet door, for example, to open the door to your house or something. Uh, another nice feature is it. it's also... Um, a smart scene device, which means um, it connects connects to other smart devices, and it will take action depending on what you tell it to do. Uh, for example, if a thermometer is uh, showing very high temperatures, this can turn the air conditioning on, for example. Or if the temperatures are very low turn the heater on or something like that or anywhere anything actually the the tv the coffee machine you can you can also plug it uh, another nice feature uh it's that it's also um uh, a timer right so you can schedule it oh seven in the morning please turn on uh, whatever device you want your coffee machine for example or please turn on the radio, 7 o'clock, 7.30. Um, which is very cool because the timer itself, if you go and buy the timer itself, it costs 7 $10, $12, just the timer itself. But this, it's all, everything is embedded in this device and it costs less than $5. Um, it works worldwide, I believe. Uh, because of the tech specifications so from 90 um, volts until 250 volts alternate current which means anywhere in the world also from 50 hertz to 60 hertz also anywhere in the world it works up to 10 amperes which is enough to 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 power your devices all right let's get into it so it's made in China in very large quantities and I really like this product. So there's some uh, instruction manuals how to do it. It's in China and Chinese and English. It's very easy to, to set it up. Um, yeah, we'll go into that later on. So this side comes the input and this is the output for your devices, right? Um, so you plug here uh, the wires, the neutral goes in and live goes to the, the bottom and output the same, live and neutral. And there's a small button here so you can uh, set it up very easily. Um, I'm gonna set it up using this extension cord I bought here in Germany uh, for three, three euros fifty. It's a very good uh, quality brand and, um, and and this makes it easier to plug any device I want. So one end I plug to the outlet, the other end I plug to the uh, whatever device I want 
it makes it easier to do it like this. All right, so let's get started. So here's the power cord. Um, it's a three meter long power cord. It has the, um, the German standard. Um, yeah. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna divide it in the middle and put the device right in the middle. I think it makes it easier like this. All right, let's get started. All right, so here's the middle part. I'm gonna make a point here. And I measured a good amount, would be 10.5 centimeters. Yeah, I know what you guys are thinking. It's simply cut here. The thing is that um, there is the, the 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 ground. There's a ground here, and I don't want to cut the ground cable. I just want to peel the the neutral and the live one, and just let the the ground intact. So it's one less thing to to worry about. Let's say. So that's why I'm doing like this. So here we can see already the blue, the green, and yellow, and brown. So the blue is the neutral, the brown is life, and the yellow and green is ground. So I have to pay attention with that. All right, perfect. So, okay, done. Um, now I'm gonna just check. Uh, I, it should be like this, the blue and the brown one, but I wanna check it anyway just to make sure with this testing uh, pen to see if those are really the the ground and and the life. Okay, so here they are, they are peeled cables, and now I'm going to check them if those are really the, the live ones. Let's do it. Okay, so now I've checked. Uh, everything is according to the plan. Um, this is the live and this is the ground. It's okay, they are not plugged. Uh, and we're going to plug here the neutral and the live, and this is going to be the ground. And that I didn't want to cut it down. Okay. Now we tight them up. All right, everything's good. Now we do it in the other side as well. So, we have a solid connection now. All right, so now the cables are attached. And the final part is to put this, which secures a bit more the cables inside with the screws that came with it.
All right, here it is. Um, the the new the ground is over here in the back, untouched, and we can ready to test and do the setup with this button here. So let's plug it in. I have the the end here. Okay, I just plugged in. Um, the light is blinking, which means there's a connection. And then we'll do the rest of the configuration on my iPhone. So on iOS, the configuration system goes like this. You hold it for five seconds until it starts blinking. Then you release it. Then you hold it again for five seconds. Okay, then you should go to um, your Wi-Fi settings and it's this IT blah 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 you click it the password is one two three four five six seven eight you connect it all right then you have to go to the application provided then you have to go in compatible pairing mode you follow the instructions okay okay next next and now it should be going registering and that's it uh, now you just select a name for it I'll just click Sonoff test 2 that's my second Sonoff so okay finished very well now just just try it and there it is working flawlessly here it's showing that there's a new firmware however I'm still not sure about updating this firmware uh, because there is um, a third party firmware that allows different uh, functionalities let's say so I'm not sure if I'm updating right now this firmware is already good for what I need turning on and off and I will have to do some more research about the next one to see if it's worthy so here you can share compartilhar sharing you can share by email or telephone number or you can select the timer date the time only one time two times three times Monday Tuesday Wednesday whatever you want um, yeah quite nice and there's also countdown very nice uh, three days four hours and whatever um and timer loop okay that's something new oh yeah so so you can select to work for let's say five minutes then stop for two hours then five minutes something like that all right guys thanks for watching uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this long video uh, but if you like please click like and if you like to subscribe why not all right guys cheers bye